Hello everyone, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this Dirty Martini manicure. If you love nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco's Peely Base. You can use whichever is your personal favorite. For the gradient, I'm going to be using Orly Sour Time to Shine, which will also be my base color, Orly on a Whim, and Hollow Taco Not Pressed. Then for the stamping, I'm going to be using Hollow Taco Amber Apathy. After I have my base color applied, I'm going to be protecting around my nails using liquid latex. added a layer of top coat to make sure that I'm not sponging up the base color as well as liquid latex to help protect around my edges. And now I'm going to start building the gradient on this sponge and I'm going to be trying to have a heavy amount of the middle color per my testing and once I'm done with that I'm going to be removing the latex. latex removed I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup I'm using a q-tip for anything that went kind of outside of the latex and to go closer in I'll be using my usual small brush dipped in acetone
I'm going to be using this uh, circular bubble pattern from the What's Up Nails B015 plate. And I'm going to be applying the polish in the opposite direction that I plan to scrape it. This helps to fill in any crevices and then I'll be stamping it on my nail. didn't use protection for the stamping and if you want you can apply another layer of latex or even leave the gradient latex on but I find it easier to peel when the gradient is still relatively fresh and this stamp didn't really have much uh, over stamp on the edges so I'm just gonna go in and clean up what there is with a q-tip or if needed my small brush Once that's complete, I'm going to finish everything off with a top coat, and as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I love how this turned out. When I saw how well these colors went together, I really wanted to do some kind of quote-unquote ugly green gradient, and I didn't have a specific stamp in mind, but I think this design really pulls it all together. I do want to give you guys some flashlight time so you can see that hollow pop, and if you'd like to see the extended tutorial for this, it's up now over on my VODs channel, or if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash ColetteMSLP. And if you'd like to support me here on YouTube, you can join the channel as a member for some perks like emoji. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this down in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, I hope you'll leave a thumbs up, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.